Okay, there we go. We got a 480. I'm on the... Uh, oh. I what? On the, I what? was on the ass for a second. And they now, didn't... sell up there at the highs. Put them out there. Let it come up to 1550. You're out to sell. All right. So they gap this up here on the opening bell. There's that gap on Google. You better be watching that IR so that you can scale out. Throw them out there at 1520. Take your money, and then you got bids below the market. Now leave that there. That's a dollar wide. You're out to sell. That was the opening high 15, print of the day. Cut. Well, you're not telling me where the stock is going. I try to get as much out of this call as you can. All 12, right? So 44. there is a three-minute bar. And you better watch. Now just do it. I'm going to tell you how to do 35. it. Throw it at 15 right now and undercut them. And you'll probably get the high of the day. And then we'll get back in again. There you go. We're doing this live on the opening bell. And that's an opening three-minute bell on Google. 45. Now, I've got to do the diamonds. I'm being told it's at 45. That's why that's thromboning, because it is. I'm populating them diamonds. And I'm going to sell that call here on the opening bell live now. We bought these yesterday. They closed at 1230. We got down there. Yes, we did. And we have a 1480 high. And we have an opening three-minute bell. We have the low put side of that 530 puts a low at 520 because we're not going any higher, and they price that put side of that market. As far as the 535 put, they brought that low right down to our entry at 660. That's the entry on that one based on that three-minute bar. And right now, what we're going to do is throw this out there at 1480 and have them take us and throw that bid there just for a second. Come off of it. Now come off of it. You got a three-minute reversal bar and a three-six bar. Now just let them do what they want. Let's let the market get adjusted. Let's let this pullback happen. We would be a buyer of more, meaning that 1480 in the lowest 30 on the opening bell and a three-six bar reversal. So the value goes down and the value is going up in the put. The value in the 535 put just moved a dollar. Uh, off of the bottom and when buying it right 13, here 10. came right to our 660 target and bam we're selling that do what now 1310 yes let's go ahead and and if they're going to continue to sell this gap down it depends if we hit land here on the six minute if we come all the way back down to this teeny right here throw these out at twelve dollars and eighty cents or ten cents up to bid on at 600 call all right on let that six. one just stay there please Okay. All right, so I got three out to buy at 1280. Where right. do you want the sell out? The sell will remain at 1490 on an uptick for now, within the broader three six minute price action range. They'll pull these back. You'll buy more down there at the 1280. There's that reversal on the six bar, and it's two teenies greater. And that's what's happening. And this value, we're still making money. We're going to add to the positions when they come down. So as Google pulls back to test its three, its six-minute open price volatility, we're going to get some more contracts over here. And we put them out here at 1280. That's $2 below the high. They're 1330 by 14. They're, 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 they're seven. Uh, you can see how wide they are. But I will tell you that once we flatten out here in this trade, go ahead and pick up another contract at 1360 right now. Throw it out there. Right now, why it's got that spread. There it is, 60. Now, let's see if the 60 will throw to you because we're landing on support on the six minute opening bar. Apple's trying to go right now. We got that low bid down to 1240 on that call. They peaked from 420 to 620 coming down on the lows. That means that when the puts go lower, that the calls finally go higher. On that opening bell right here on that short gap, that entry in Dragon's action on that 535 put was a very well being with a 660 and a $2 bump on the 535 put opening bell, making that side of the transaction as the calls were losing their value. And right now we've had an upside movement here in that left or right elbow short right across here where yesterday's close was but this half bar is going to be a challenging bar and I'm going to tell the MMTs right now that this very half bar right here is 532.78 now this one now 
this particular half bar for near term support level is 530.93 pennies. And you are right here in the bid and ask at that crucial area of that previous half bar. And if that can't break it and consolidate it, then I'm going to have to limit out at 13.60 until that happens. 13.60 limit on out. Limit on out. Because we're not holding that half bar. It's struggling with that print. It's 66. It's 90. There it is. That is the major half bar in this trend here and now. 590.3. And that's that half bar. Let's take a look at this one. And it's a back-to-back. 531.11. Break below it. Here we come. Bam. Diamond reversal. So that's all we got out of that upside movement off of that bottom. There's got to be another three-minute buy action bar right next to it. This is the major half bar break, and we're coming right back down to test these lows because we broke below those half bars. It's that simple. Half bar, diamond reversal to support with the 10-minute going down, and that means that these put options just jumped. They were at the lows here. They're still elevated a dollar something. But this side of the market, because of the reversal, the Short let's, take, let's take a look here. That 660, it's got a premium. And I can tell you right now that this low end side of the market will be the next transaction. We've got to get support at these diamond lows. And we need to see a closing bar above there, this half bar here. And we're below it. That is weak. That's why this is strong, Tina. And that's in. why these are strong, Tina. What are you doing? That Amazon's a great short. Here you go right now. I was talking about that bid prop. We there got we go. up above it. No, we're at that this bid prop. I said 528.42. You're at that 529.50. But that 528.42 would be that bid prop. And we just came up in here. And this is live. And it's here. And it's now. And this bar right here. Well, it's here. That, it's that, now. Yeah. Charger. This bar right and here, we know that we're at 45. We know that this is at zero, 00, and if it breaks out toward 42, we are going to break. There's that diamond top resistance. This is that half bar that I kept talking about at 528.52. And I also talked about that that would be your bid prop, and if you could get above that, then you would break out like we did later yesterday. The put options would lose their value. The call options would go up in value and they are both in the 525 call they both expire this coming Friday but the thing about it is that this ratio cannot go negative here it must go toward that number now it came from here to zero zero as I said in the earlier videos because it did and the bid prop is 528 point the half bar is 528.42, but the bid prop over here was 528.42 pennies. And they walked that up there. Now the next bid prop to break through them highs is going to be 49 cents. And 49 cents has got to show over on this side of the market. You think that he might be a seller? No, 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 no. That becomes the next bid prop. Would be that... 529 49 to show that bid and walk that thing up through that 1130 price action. However, in order to be able to accomplish that goal, you're going to have to see that bid pop. You're going to have to see this get north to 55. Otherwise, you're right over here. Yes, you are above the half bar. And the higher dollar denominator, 528.52, the higher the ratio above the previous half bar is king. That's a half bar resistance above the half bar resistance. But if I show you right now the current price print on the breakout from this previous half bar, that's a dollar fifty four above the previous half bar, and nobody is going to deny price strength. This is you want this bar the higher that this bar closes above the previous bar it's a dollar 54 above that half bar this one right now you're closing that that means strength and when you get north of 55 here i'm going to break out but i'm letting you know 
that when you're ascending, now this half bar here, that was $1.54 above this half bar. Now this half bar right here, right now, it's 84 cents above that half bar. And unlike the one I just showed you down here at $1.54, you're going to want this to go a higher ratio to break through there. And the higher that you close above consecutive previous half bars, we will get through there, and we got that prop now. I'm going to let you know to get this thing back up there to the 530.75. You're going to have to see a live bid over here at 530.10, and that's your next prop. It's 530.10 on the bid. This side of the, there it is. He just printed those 12s. 10's got a show to get a prop, but you can see he sold those things. Look at that. He sold 95s. They bought 12s, and then they came right back and sold the 95s. It's all in the bid and asking the level two and how to be a market maker between the public and understanding the mathematical ascending ratios for price strength and descending mathematical ratios closing below or above and or making a market with SMF here and now live 3010 will be that bid prop we made the lows from the short of 53397 down to that beautiful 52582 yes they took that 52952 close they dropped that thing down almost you know three and a half almost somewhere three and a half dollars negative and now you want to see that leverage up and you want to see that prop to get up toward these highs you're going to have to have a higher bid and ask that CFI 3002 printed you need a 53010 on that bid there it is over here no it's got a place in show to get that thing up there to that 53090 to get through that 53125 neighborhood in this very price action you need to see that bid prop this side of the market to get to them higher levels to cross that bid out once again MMTs you've been trained extremely well and the thing about it is there's that ascending breakout there's that same kind of consolidation there you got to maintain and you're maintaining all of what happened over here that this half bar right here at 530.29 that's this one and what time was that that was at 948 Alert Goose Pacific, below Delta or, uh, line Eastern 529. Uh-oh, you got a big pop close. down. He lost that prop. So we got right over in these half bars right here at 530.93. We couldn't get it. This half bar was 529.81. But this is ultimately the current inline support, and that's 529.05. And you're at 529.34 by 48. This is the opening bell how to buy the low, how to get wholesale 988 from 1480. These were 1110 on the high to 680. Took profits on price line. Thank you. The high here on the puts were 790 and they're pulling back. And if Google can't break through these resistance levels, I'll start buying puts again. Period. Period. Because if I'm not going to break those half bars, then I need to be on the put side intraday, and it's 43. It's not above 45. And this half bar, as I said, is going to be that major, major 529.05 support level. And we're above it. 42 by 72. 38 to printed. 550 by 570. 810 by 840 over here. Still a $2 premium almost from that swing low. So when Google sold down, these things raced from 660 to 1130. How nice that was. How nice it was. Alert Google percent DS overbought condition 90.0. And how nice zero. that 420 to 790 was. And the calls fell off their highs. Right here, 1480, 980. 1110, 680, MMTs. Anyway, being a market maker is everything. You must maintain an elevation level. Half bar here must hold. If you hold and take out previous half bar high, you're doing okay. You got to get the 530.10 here on the bid. That's the cl uh, first hour and a half has gone by. It is right now 811 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 914. And in the trade management structure was sell that gap short to the low and then consolidate it and break it higher. Now, 
we would like to consolidate up here not come back down where the original breakout consolidation was but that we start consolidating ascending mathematical teeny higher highs consolidation would build more support price action once again 8 11 a.m. 9 14 2001